Good morning, everyone. I wanted to uh, meet you out here in my greenhouse again because it's just so luscious out here. I love it. And I know the lighting is really wonky, um, but I don't care because I'm surrendered to the experience. <laughs> so I wanted to share a little bit about releasing and surrendering because right now, as we are going through these tremendous times of change, it's really important that we figure out how to let it go. How to let go of things that we're feeling, how to let go of challenging experiences, and just to be, just to be in the experience and to allow it. So I want to share um, a little bit about my personal story with you with the whole surrendering experience because it's been a long road for me. I was a master at holding on. I was a master at really being um, wound up pretty tight. <laughs> and so one of the things that helped me a lot to open up and to begin releasing was acupuncture. I actually received acupuncture consistently for nine years when I lived in Pennsylvania. And it really, really ho helped open up my meridians and helped open me up. And it was funny because there were some times where I actually, I started sweating again. And I started um, releasing from my sinuses and and I ac actually had um, body odor under my arms, which for a long time I didn't have because I was holding everything in so tightly. So when I started sweating, it was like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm like, things are flowing again. It was, it was amazing to me. <laughs> It's kind of a funny thing, but um, it literally affected me at the physical level because I held on so tightly and had lots of issues with constipation and things like that. So it really does affect us physically if we don't learn how to release. So of course, I always talk about hydration. Hydration is huge in helping us release because it brings in the energy of flow. You know, water has this beautiful flowing energy. And when we bring those energetic signatures into our body, it does help us to release and to flow and to surrender. I had another really profound experience that I'd like to share with you because this, this experience really helped me get it for me in a very tangible way. I was in Costa Rica in 2012 and it was the last day and I just felt really called to go into the ocean one more time. And so I went into the ocean and as I was in the ocean, I started to float. And I've, I've never been able to float in the water. Like my legs sink or my head feels weird. And I feel like there's water gonna rush into my ears and all of these things. So I've never really been able to fully relax and float. But there I was in the ocean, you know, with some gentle waves and, and the, the moving of the ocean, everything. And I just really surrendered into it. And I felt, I felt this ocean cradling me and holding me. And I felt so supported and loved by this body of water. And I had this realization, this is what surrender feels like. To completely relax into something. And because I felt it so physically and tangibly in my body, I was able to take it home with me. Now when I got home, um, things kind of hit the fan. <laughs> so I, in, in all the midst of my anxiety and of what was going on at the time, I went back to that experience and I remembered and I would meditate on that experience and try to bring back that feeling of surrender back into my body because I wanted to feel that physically. And as I felt that more and more, I generated that, I cultivated that feeling of surrender in my body. And as I cultivated that, I began to surrender everything. And it was about 11 months after that experience when my guidance told me it was time to move from Pennsylvania. And I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know where I would end up. I didn't like, I don't like road trips, still don't. And I thought it was some kind of cosmic joke that they were telling me to get rid of all my stuff and, and load my car and, and hit the road. Um, but I followed. I followed my guidance because I was truly surrendered. And so it is a practice to learn how to release. And then when I got here to Sedona, I was introduced to uh, the blue flame of surrender and working with Archangel Michael. 
and that really helped me to yes I was using a tool external to myself um, but as I used it it started to become part of me I started to integrate the tool and now it is me generally in most areas of my life in most times of my life most of the day I'm surrendered and so when something happens uh, like an election <laughs> for example if something happens externally to me I can surrender to it and I shared with you guys the experience of being pulled over by a police officer and my registration was expired and I had no idea because I hadn't been getting my mail because someone's throwing it out illegally and all all of this craziness I was surrendered to it all and I and I took the power back in that experience that's in a different video but I just wanted to share some examples of these things that happen in our everyday lives, you know, I have a live, live a normal life like everyone else. And so things happen, things come up that are seemingly external to us. And when we can truly surrender and release, then it's very powerful. So how do you do it? It starts with your intention. It starts with your desire to release, your desire to surrender. If you don't have that desire, then you know, it's going to be a lot harder to actually release, you know, you're not going to want to work on it if you don't have the desire, right? So that desire to release, that desire to be surrendered. And then when you have that desire, you can set that intention. And when, and when little things come up, you can observe and make a choice and say, okay, am I going to let this get the better of me? Or am I going to release and surrender it? And let it be what it is and come back to my power in my center come back to my heart and be centered within my heart in love for myself and for others and so when you have that desire then you can start to be more conscious and aware about the things that you're reacting to and then instead of reacting you can pull pull back a step then you can who that sounds really bright through the <laughs> Um, you can take a step back and you can instead of reacting you can make a choice okay how am I going to move forward and how much can I let go how much can I release because if you are having a reaction it's just showing you that that external thing is triggering you because it's resonating with some part of you within and so you can release whatever is within so that you don't attract those experiences even anymore and if you do attract those experiences you can practice not being in reaction over it and choosing that powerful experience of being in your heart and being centered in love so I'm not saying it's easy for me it took a long time you know this is something I've been working on for 12 years to get to the point where I am now it's been a very committed journey for me and again, um, you may not be wound up as nearly as tight as, as I was. I was extremely constricted, constrain, extremely wound up tight. So for you, wherever you are, take it to the next level. What is it that you desire to release? Do you desire to live in a surrendered state, centered in love from your heart? Allow that. Allow that beingness and call in the Divine Feminine because being in a surrendered state is very much part of the Divine Feminine and she does want to help you and assist you. So call in the Divine Feminine and ask, can you please help? I would like to be more surrendered. I would, release, I would like to release more density from my being. Can you assist me with that? Can you hold me in a sacred container of love so that I feel safe to release? and be surrendered. Being surrendered, living in that state of surrender requires an enormous amount of trust. And so the other piece is that you must build up your trust muscles, as I like to call them. These little places in our lives where we don't trust something, we need to learn to trust, to trust ourselves, to trust that we are being supported by a loving and benevolent universe, to trust in the divine, what, to trust in God, you know, whatever it is for you, but to trust that you'll be okay. And even in this moment, you are okay. 
to trust that. And to build up those trust muscles, take on bigger and bigger things that you want to trust. And as you trust, you can then lean back and surrender. Mm. It feels really good to live in a surrendered way, to be surrendered in our lives. And even as I create the creation temple, as I open the doors for you, I'm surrendered to the outcome. I don't know how many people want to join. I know how many are meant to be in there, but I don't know how many of those people will choose to be in there. And so I surrender because it's not up to me. I don't have control and I've learned to let go of control to a large extent, still working on it. But it is something that we all need to look at if we do want to live in a state of surrender, if we do want to learn how to release things of lower density from our being. We need to also let go of control to understand that we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow or the next moment and to live in the moment and to be in that state of trust that all is okay even when things don't seem like it even when things don't look like it truly all is okay you've made it this far why stop now right you've made it this far you've grown so take it to the next level now to really, truly, deeply understand that all is okay, all will be okay, you're valuable. And that's another piece to understand your value and worth. It keeps going on, you know, all of these concepts are related to other concepts. And so to understand that you're worthy, you're valuable, and in that value and worth, you're worthy of feeling good. You're worthy of living in a surrendered state. I love you all. I, again, I will look at your comments after I finish this video. I thank you for being with me today. I cherish you in my hearts. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. Much love, you guys. I'll see you in the next video.